Are you serious? Are you serious? Ebola. Ebola. 500 people have died. The death toll rises to over 500 in West Africa. The Ebola virus deepens into the heart of Africa. And this is something, folks, no one's seen coming. But the Bible did say we would have uh, famines and pestilence or diseases and plagues would break out on the earth. Well, in Senegal, there's a report coming deep in the forest of southern Guyana. The first victims fell ill with high fevers. People assumed it was the uh, some other type of killer malaria and had no reason to fear touching the bodies. But as is the custom in traditional funerals, some desperate relatives brought their loved ones to the distant capital in search of better medical care unknowingly spreading what ultimately was discovered to be Ebola, one of the world's most deadliest viruses in history. Ebola is a hemorrhaging fever that can cause its victims to bleed from the ears, the nose, and had never before been seen in this part of West Africa where medical clinics are few and far between. But the disease has turned up in at least two other countries now, Liberia and Sierra Leone. 539 deaths have been attributed to this outbreak that is now the largest on record. But folks, that's the ones that they clearly have identified. They believe that this could be two to three times more because of those that died in these remote villages of West Africa that it was no, there was no test done, there was no autopsy done. So this thing is of an epidemic proportion. It is a deadly killer. And where it's located, there's no way to, to prevent it or to isolate it or to contain it. Matter of fact, the key to halting Ebola is isolating the sick. But fear and panic have sent some patients into hiding, complicating the efforts to stop its spread. Ebola has reached the capitals of all three countries, and the World Health Organization reports 44 new cases, including 21 new deaths this past Friday, July 11, 2014. There has been a gross misjudgment abroad, across the board, gauging the severity and the scale of the damage of this current Ebola outbreak. Folks, I've been talking about it now for about three to four months when it first we got when we might have had just about a hundred people had died. So I have been talking about it. I've done several YouTube videos. I discuss it on my live broadcast a lot because I know it is part of the end time apocalyptic signs. Man might want to dismiss it. Man might want to hope it goes away. But God said he would send these plagues. Now, there are no cases from outside of Africa yet, although I have heard that there was one or two in Italy. But uh, right now they're saying there's none. They might have hushed that up, isolated it. I don't know what. Preachers are calling for divine intervention. And panic residents in remote areas have on multiple occasions attacked the very health workers sent to help them. In one town in Sierra Leone, residents partially burned down a treatment center. <clears throat> Hang on a minute. You gotta be kidding. Are you serious? They burnt the treatment center down, fear that the drugs given the victims was actually causing this, the disease. Now, wait a minute, everybody. I don't want anybody to panic. But in my book, Mark of the Beast, R-F-I-D, I wrote that there would be... Of course, it's uh, 
I wrote it based on an end time apocalyptic scenario. I took current world events and Bible prophecy and wrote an end time apocalyptic scenario of possibilities of things that could happen based on what's already happening and what the Bible says is coming. And in the book I wrote there would be a massive, massive amounts of people would die due to a virus spreading through Africa and it would be caused by man deliberately poisoning or infecting the people to create this mass killing or depopulization. And if you understand the Agenda 21, if you understand the spirit of the Illuminati, if you understand that it is the Georgia Guidestones or the New World Order, the One World Government, they know, they believe we can't have this many people. They truly believe in depopulization. And of course they want to make it look like it was a natural cause, not a not an inflicted virus done on the people. So when these people burn down a treatment center saying, look, you guys are the ones infecting us, you might want to stop and say, well, it's just ignorant. You might say, well, it's because they're just unlearned and ignorant and don't know better. Or you might want to listen to them for just a minute. I was driving down the road, down the interstate, an hour, hour and a half south of my home, pulled into a gas station on the interstate. A man walked up to me in a, a security guard, walked up to me and said, are you Paul Begley on YouTube? I said, yes. He goes, I watch you all the time. I saw you. I couldn't believe it. I wanted to come over and shake your hand. But he said, I want to tell you something. I worked for the federal government for 35 years. I'm telling you, out of the blue, he says, I'm telling you. They're, inf they're bringing back old, deadly diseases. They're going to infect the people with it. They've already begun. And he said, you know, I, I mean, I'm just telling you. He would not give me his name. Of course, he did not want to be recognized, of course. But he told me this. And I believe the man was so sincere. I mean, seriously, folks, seriously. Is it beginning? Are we in the end times to the point? Has... The New World Order, the One World Governance, is it beginning? In every level, whether it be the, the destroying of the dollar and the creation of a One World Currency, the military uh, uh, mentality, the police state mentality, the FEMA camps are opening, even though for now it's to put undocumented children in, but next is it you and me? The camps are open. They're opening FEMA camps every day. What's going on in this country? Wars, rumors of wars. Israel's under attack. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Pray. This is a terrible disease. Pray for these people in Africa. You need to, you need to understand the power of the blood of Jesus Christ in your life. 